Okay, we've got the rebars all set all the way along here. Solid and secure. We go along, we straighten up the rebars, make them somewhat plumb both ways. You don't want them sticking out on funny angles. They bend fairly easily, but uh, within a few minutes and uh, the uh, rebar should be set in the epoxy. And then uh, straighten them all out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the post to length. We're gonna maintain about a two inch bottom space. So we've cut this one. We've got our string set up so that we make sure that we maintain the string line. Some of our posts on this job are actually in the customer's yard. So uh, we've set those as in previous videos, you'll see how we do that. And then we follow the same steps here. So we're just on this patio with the grade that it has on it, it's sloping a little bit. As you can see here, from the right down to the left. We're gonna maintain the grade on this patio from this section that you see here. And then there's a gate going here. So we're gonna run from this post that's gonna be installed here to the post here. We'll level across the tops of the posts because there's still a little bit of slope on this concrete. And then this short section back to the wall through it'll be run level also so we'll run the two gate posts uh, level across the tops and then the third post at the wall level across the top so we, we know we're going to maintain about a two inch bottom space here we'll go ahead and mark our post from the hole two inches down and then square it off around the post. Like so. All the way around. Until all four sides are done. And then you can cut this with a circular saw or we just use a mini grinder and a uh, zip cut blade. Make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. take the post make sure the holes are facing the wrong way <laughs> the right way I should say not the wrong way slide over top of the rebar you'll see those two little black lines are our initial layout lines you want to make sure the post is set on those both sides and then about an eighth of an inch off the string okay it's gonna move around a bit our next step is to assemble the fence section. We're going to pop the bottom rail in. We've already prepared it. You'll notice the duct, you'll notice the duct tape on the rails. It's because we fill these posts with concrete. We don't want the cement to run into the rail once it's assembled. Okay, so you're going to have a little bit of movement in this. But that's all right. It'll set up real solid when we're done. And on to the next step.